know, we see uh, Jermaine Terry out there. He, he's a pretty big guy for a freshman. Can you just evaluate? So you've been around a lot of a lot of pros. What's he look like? What's he doing well so far? Well, first off, we're thrilled to have uh, Jermaine here, and he's out there practicing hard every day. As a bigger body, and he's got a bigger body. The days get pretty long and pretty uh, pretty heavy in terms of the workload. So he's a hard worker. I think his best attribute, uh, even in terms of being on the field, is his ability to bounce back and improve from one day to the next. And so uh, with Jermaine, we're not worried about where we're at right now. It's where we're going. I think he's got a lot of upside and a lot of potential. Uh, just taking the daily things, even compared to the spring to here in the fall, he knows the offense much better. And we can move him around in the offense because he knows that. So. We're really happy to have Jermaine here. In terms of what he's doing really well right now, what, what do you see in what areas that he's doing? You know, we had him learn the tight end or the Y position, which makes him an inline blocker. And that's hard for high school kids, especially remember he didn't even play that senior season. So I think we'll probably concentrate on him being an inline blocker, number one. And then once you're an inline blocker, you've got to show that you can catch the ball from those tight end positions. And that's what we're concentrating on. And he's done a nice job so far. Split out a couple of times today. Oh, you, you, you're paying attention. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we're just trying to uh, introduce the playbook to him where he is doing some of the stuff that maybe a Jake Tan Tanjas would do or some of the veteran receivers. And I think that's a compliment to him understanding the playbook. Where is he as a blocker compared to where you see most freshmen? You know, like anyone else coming out of high school, it's kind of like a high school basketball player who's 6'9. He could physically dominate a high school basketball game. I think Jermaine's had that type of physical ability, but he's got to learn that he's got to continue to move his feet and that he's got to use leverage and momentum as much as just sheer strength because now that we're playing college, uh, they don't move quite as easily as they do in high school. And on the other end, with freshman, you have to like use tall, but a little, a little more slight. Uh, where is he? You're exactly right that we see them as complementary pieces, that they're not kind of robbing each other's playing time. Kalecki has been the guy that's learned the extended wide receiver things, which is similar to what he did in high school. He was more of a wide receiver that has been brought inside, but we still want to teach him the inline stuff. So we're thrilled again. Uh, unlike Jermaine, he joined us in the summer. He's worked really hard to learn the playbook, and I think that that's something that I really appreciate. Again, that daily effort, what a great kid, and he comes from a great family. And so those are things that we can convert. So we just can't wait to see where they end up. Uh, here we are in August. Where are they in September and October? And then where are they in September, October of next year, we, we have high expectations for them. Yes, and I think that uh, the older guys, you know, they know that they've been around the block here. Jake's been through a lot. I think he's having a fantastic camp. I think he's relaxed out there, which gives you confidence that I can uh, just play the game of football and not worry about assignments or kind of self-consciously where I'm at with my production. And I think he's been incredibly productive and those of you who have seen, he's been making a, a, a lot of really good plays, not just in the pass game, which we would expect, but also blocking in the run game. Shifting gears a little bit, are you a little surprised at how absolutely relentless the number of game can be, how you have to stay on a guy 24 7? Uh, you know, I, I, I hearken back to more when my kids were being recruited, uh, especially Keller was a national recruit. So uh, being on the other end of it, you can see maybe how relentless programs are to try to find the right kid and the right fit. But at the end of the day, it's still going to be the school that you choose to go to that you think is the best fit. And so uh, you want to use logic and not just a uh, carpet bombing mentality to recruiting. And how are you feeling about the <coughs> other older guys who mentioned Jake already, Gavin, Colin, Nick Alston? We, we've seen those numbers out there playing a lot of football for Cal and games. And we rely upon that because uh, they've been mentoring in a player-to-player -player relationship to these young guys. So I would attribute a lot of the growth to both Jermaine and Kalecki to those three veteran guys because we want the team to communicate. And there's no better way to know your subject than to teach it yourself. So we're a lot of player-to-player -player communication. And I would give them an A-plus in terms of their communication, which sounds kind of funny uh, talking about football. But we've done a nice job with communication. Coaches, we love going to camp because we define what your roles are and we go out and earn it. So maybe your role from 2019 to 2020 might be different in 2021. And then the other thing that you've got to be smart at is, is um, with injury as a part of football, especially training camp, we want to keep those veteran guys healthy. So we've been giving the nice one-two combo of select plays for the older guys 
and really let the younger guys, including a guy like Nick Afton, who's done a heck of a job with us, get those reps to learn to play the game of football. So there's a nice balance between the veteran guys, maybe cherry picking a player or two to identify and highlight their traits, and then the younger guys just playing football and relaxing, but maybe getting four or five plays in a series. That's been valuable for them. Uh, having been with Billy uh, in, most recently in Denver, there's be plenty of opportunities as long as we're earning it on the field. Billy's got a nice playbook and he's got a nice ability to adjust, remembering back to the things that he had done uh, throughout his long play calling tenure. And so uh, if we earn it, he'll call it. If we don't earn it, then he won't call it. So that, I respect that uh, merit based system. Anything else for G? Thank you. Thank you.